Welcome to the audiobook of The Art of Cold Calling Breaking the Ice, The Adventure of Cold Calling Written by Del Marso C. What is a cold call? Picture this. You're at your desk, there's a phone in front of you, and you've got a list of names and numbers. Now, these folks don't know you. They've got no clue who you are or why you'd be calling them. But you? You're on a mission to get in front of as many people as you can. That, my friend, is the setting of a cold call. So, what's a cold call exactly? It's just like knocking on someone's door who has no idea they were expecting company. Cold calling is when you reach out to people who aren't waiting for your call. And why are you calling? Well, as a salesperson, you've got something great you want to share with them. Your product or service. Now, why is it called a cold call? Think of it like this. If you meet someone for the first time, that relationship is kind of cold because you don't know each other yet. Right? As you get to know each other, the relationship warms up. In sales, we start with a cold call to introduce ourselves and what we're offering. Our ultimate target is to do what? To warm that call up, make a connection, build a relationship, and hopefully make a sale. Cold calling can be challenging. Imagine. You're talking to someone who doesn't know you and might not even need what you're selling. It's like trying to score a goal with a blindfold on. But remember, practice makes perfect, and the more you cold call, the better you'll get at it. It's a bit like fishing. You don't know what's under the water, but you toss your line in hoping you'll get a bite. You need patience, a good attitude, and an understanding that not every call will be a catch. Sometimes people will hang up, sometimes they'll be rude, and sometimes they just won't be interested. But sometimes, you'll get a bite, and it'll all be worth it. But don't get discouraged. Cold calling is just one of many ways we reach out to potential customers. But, it's faster and more powerful. You can get in front of people a lot quicker than anything else. It's like a first step on banging on many doors. You will break the ice faster and start a conversation. It's about letting people know we exist and have something awesome they might need. And you know what? The feeling when someone says, hey, I'm interested, tell me more. That's why we do it. So that's the powerful scoop on cold calling. It's challenging but also exciting, kind of like a treasure hunt. You never know who will pick up the phone, what they'll say, or if they'll be the next big sale. Happy dialing. What is the purpose of cold calling? You might be wondering, why the heck do we bother with cold calling? Great question. Let's break it down. You know when you've got a surprise gift for a friend, and you can't wait to give it to them because you know they're gonna love it. That's kind of like cold calling. You've got something cool your product or service and you can't wait to share it with folks who might need it. They just don't know about it yet. Cold calling serves a few big purposes. The first one is pretty straightforward. You're trying to sell what you've got. It's all about letting people know about your product or service, like telling your friend about your surprise gift. The second purpose of cold calling is to gather information. It's like detective work. You're trying to find out if the person you're calling could use what you're selling. Do they need it? Are they happy with what they've currently got? If not, boom, that's your chance to show them how your product or service can make their life better. Another key purpose is to build relationships. You know how you can't be friends with someone if you never talk to them. Same thing here. By reaching out, you're starting a conversation. You're getting to know them, and they're getting to know you. It's like planting a seed. Even if it doesn't grow into a sale right away, with time and care, it might blossom later. Now, here's the thing to remember. Cold calling isn't a magic trick that gets everyone to buy what you're selling right away. Nope, it's more like fishing. You cast your line out there and see if anyone bites. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And that's okay. Cold calling is all about trying, learning, and getting better. 
Not every call will turn into a sale, and that's normal. Some people won't need what you are selling. Others might be busy, or not in the mood to chat. But don't sweat it. Remember, you're just starting the conversation. The cool thing about cold calling is that it's an adventure. Every call is a new chance to meet someone, learn something, or make a sale. It's like opening a mystery box you never know what you're gonna get. So, the purpose of cold calling is to sell, to learn, to build relationships, and to have an adventure. It's all part of the exciting journey of being a salesperson. Cold call script examples. Now, a script is just like the lines in a movie, but instead of acting on a big screen, you're talking on the phone. Here are a few examples to give you an idea of what we mean. Example number one. Introduction and problem solving. Hello, this is Alex from ABC Company in Pine Ridge. I'm not sure if you've heard about us, but we help people like you with problems like yours, and our product and service can do this. For instance, we've helped people and companies that wants to increase their traffic to their website. Does that sound like something that might help you out? In this script, you're quickly explaining who you are and how you can help the person you're calling. It's like saying, Hey, I've got this great tool that could help you build that treehouse faster. Want to check it out? Example number two. Asking for a meeting. Hi, John, this is Alex from ABC Company in Pine Ridge. I know you're super busy, so I'll be quick. We've got a new advanced technology gadget that I think could really benefit you. Can we schedule a quick chat this week to talk about it? Here, you're respecting their time, showing that you understand they're busy like a bee, and asking if you could talk more when they have a moment. Example number three. Follow-up call. Hi, John, it's Alex again from ABC Company in Pine Ridge. Last time we talked about how we can add a powerful system that could boost your traffic to your website. I was wondering if you've had a chance to think about it. Can we discuss it further? This script is like saying, hey, remember that cool new video game I told you about? Have you thought about giving it a try? Remember, these scripts are just guidelines, like a map guiding you through a conversation. But every call is a new adventure, and every person you talk to is different. It's important to listen and respond to what they're saying. You wouldn't read your lines from a play while your friend is telling you about their day, right? That's the same thing here. Also, practice makes perfect. Just like learning lines for a school play, the more you practice your script, the better you get. But don't worry about sounding perfect. It's more important to sound like yourself. After all, people don't want to talk to a robot, they want to talk to a human. Smile when you make these calls. That's the lowdown on cold call scripts. Remember, they're there to guide you, not control you. So be yourself, listen and respond, and let the script help you share your awesome product or service. How to create a cold call script. Are you ready to create your very own cold call script? Now, script writing is like writing a recipe for a successful phone conversation. Let's go through seven steps together, it is quite simple and very helpful. This will open your mind to some new idea, and a great way for you to expand on your cold calling skills. Step number one. Start with a smile. Yes, on the phone. It might sound silly, but trust me, people can hear a smile. Start with a friendly hello. This is John from ABC Company. It's like saying hi to a new classmate at school. Step number two. Show them you're not a robot. You don't want to sound like you're reading from a paper. Be conversational. Be yourself. Think about how you talk to your friend about your favorite toy or game. Step number three. Explain where you're calling. You've got something cool to share, remember. So tell them. We've developed this new product or service that helps with their problems, and your product will solve it. You're saying, hey, we've got this solution that might make your life better. Step number four. Make it about them. People love talking about themselves and their needs. So ask them, does that sound like something that could help you or your business? It's like asking your friend if they'd like a new tool to make their favorite hobby more fun. Step number five. Listen and respond. 
This is super important. Your script isn't a monologue. It's a guide for your conversation. If they say something, respond to it. It's like playing catch you have to throw the ball back. Step number six. Ask for a next step or the sale. If things are going well, try to move forward. This could be setting up a meeting, offering a demo, or just promising to email them more info. It's like asking your friend if they want to play a game again later. Step number seven. Say thank you. Regardless of how the call goes, always end on a positive note. A simple thank you for your time today goes a long way. Remember, a cold call script isn't one size fits all. It's more like a favorite shirt you have to adjust it to fit you comfortably. The same script may not work for everyone. That's okay. Experiment, tweak, and find what works best for you. Also, practice, practice, practice. Just like riding a bike or learning a new game, the more you do it, the better you'll get. You don't have to be perfect right away, just be persistent. So, that's how you can create your own cold call script. It's your conversation roadmap, guiding you on your journey to make great sales. Remember to be yourself, listen to the person you're talking to, and adjust your script as needed. You've got this. The best cold calling script ever. Alright, we've been talking about cold call scripts, and now you want the inside scoop on the best script ever. Well, here's a little secret. The best script isn't just one script, it's a script that's tailored to you, your product, and your customer. It's like the perfect pizza. It's best when it has your favorite toppings on it. But, I can give you a structure that many successful salespeople use as the base. Think of it as a pizza crust that you can add your favorite toppings to. Start with a warm greeting. Hello, is this John? You're being polite and friendly, like saying hi to a new buddy at the park. Always start with positivity. Introduce yourself. My name's Bobby, and I'm calling from ABC Company in Pine Ridge. Just like when you meet someone new, you want to tell them who you are and where you're from. Purpose of call. We have a product or service that has been really helpful for people or businesses similar to yours, and I thought it could be of interest to you too. Here, you're telling them about your call product and where you think they'll like it. Get their opinion. Does that sound like something you might be interested in? Now, you're giving them a chance to talk. Remember, it's a conversation, not a monologue. Let them tell you what they think. Next steps or asking for the sale. Great. Would it be possible to schedule a time to talk more about how our product or service and how it can specifically benefit you? If they're interested, it's time to move forward. It's like saying, hey, wanna play this game again tomorrow? Thank them for their time. Thanks for your time today, Mr. Evans. Have a great day. You're ending the call on a positive note, no matter how it went. Always remember, the best script will always be the one that feels most natural to you, that respects the person you're calling, and that truly believes in the product or service you're selling. It's like picking your favorite toppings for your pizza. It's best when it's made just for you. So, go ahead and take this script, add your own flavor to it, make it yours. The best script ever will be the one that works for you and brings you the most success. And remember, practice makes perfect. The more calls you make, the better you'll get at this. So, let's turn up the heat and start calling. You've got this. Example. A sales script in action. Picture this. You're a salesperson for a company that sells super comfy ergonomic chairs that help people with back problems. The person you're calling is Mr. Smith, a business owner who's been having a tough time with back pain due to his old office chair. Here's how your conversation might go. Hello, is this Mr. Smith? Yes, speaking. Who's this? Hi Mr. Smith. My name's Alex, and I'm calling from Comfort Chairs Plus. Hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. Oh, no worries. What's this about? I'll be quick. We provide ergonomic office chairs that have been a game changer for many business owners who spend long hours at the desk. I've heard that you've been having some trouble with back pain, and I thought our chairs might be just the solution you need. Oh, interesting. I've been thinking about changing my chair. 
That's great to hear. Our chairs are designed to support your back and improve your posture, which can help to reduce your back pain. Does that sound like something you might be interested in learning more about? Yes, I'd like to hear more. I've been looking for a solution to my back pain. Okay, great. Would it be possible to schedule a time later this week for a call? I can share more details about our chairs and how they can specifically help you. We can even arrange for a trial if you're interested. Sure, I can do Thursday afternoon. And a trial sounds good. Perfect. Let's talk on Thursday this week. I'm excited to share how Comfort Chairs Plus can make your workdays more comfortable. Thanks for your time today, Mr. Smith. Have a great day. You too, Alex. Talk to you on Thursday. You started the call on a friendly note, explained where you were calling, listened to Mr. Smith's response, and arranged for a follow-up. Remember, every call won't go this smoothly. But with practice and perseverance, you'll get better and better. Keep on dialing. Cold calling script variation. Now, we're going to talk about something really cool cold calling script variation. You remember those scripts we talked about before, right? Well, just like you don't want to eat the same cereal every day, you don't want to use the same script for every call. Different people need different approaches, just like different taste buds like different cereals. Let's break it down. 1. Change it up for the person. Think about the person you're calling. Are they a busy business owner or a stay-at-home parent? Do they love technology or prefer things old school? The same script won't work for everyone. Imagine if you're talking to your younger brother about a new game, you'd use different words compared to how you'd explain it to your grandma, right? It's the same idea here. 2. Swap in details about your product. Remember when we talked about that super comfy chair? Well, what if you're selling a standing desk, or maybe a new software? You want to switch up your script to talk about what makes your product or service special. It's like changing the toppings on your pizza to fit your mood. 3. Adjust for the time. Is it the start of the workday or almost closing time? Monday blues or Friday excitement? Your script can reflect that. A good morning, ready to start the day with a new opportunity. Feels different from a wrapping up the week. I've got something that might help you kick off the next one with a bang. 4. Adapt based on the response. The conversation isn't just about what you say, it's also about how they respond. If they seem interested, you can offer more details. If they're in a hurry, you might want to arrange another time to talk. It's like playing catch you throw the ball differently depending on how they throw it back. 5. Experiment and learn. The most important part about script variation is learning what works and what doesn't. Not every change you make will be a home run, and that's okay. Think of it as trying different toppings on your pizza until you find the combination you like best. Now, that's the fun of cold calling script variation. It's all about mixing it up, personalizing your approach, and learning from each call. Just remember, at the end of the day, it's about having a genuine conversation. Happy dialing, my friend. cold calling basics. What it would sound like. We're going to dive right into the world of cold calling script basics. These are like those paint by numbers sets you have a basic design, but it's up to you to fill it with colors. These basics are your starting point, your foundation. Let's explore. Number one, your introduction script. This is your hello moment. It's simple. Say who you are and where you're calling from. Kind of like when you start a new school year. You have to introduce yourself to the class. Here's a what it would sound like. Hello, this is John calling from ABC Company in Pine Ridge. How are you today? Number two, your reason for calling script. Now, tell them why you're calling. Remember, you're not just chatting. You've got something cool to share. Here's a what it would sound like. I'm calling because we've got this great time tracking software that helps with improving productivity and efficiency. I thought it might be of interest to you. Number 3. Your benefits script. Here's where you show them how awesome your product or service is. 
It's like when you tell your friends about your new car and how cool it is to drive it. Here's a what it would sound like. Our time tracking software can significantly reduce wasted time. This will increase your team productivity and provide valuable insights into your day-to-day -day operations. Number four, your question script. This is where you get them involved in the conversation. You've got to give them a chance to talk. Here's a what it would sound like. Does that sound like something that might help streamline your team's workflow and boost productivity? Number five, your closing script. You've had a great chat, now it's time to wrap things up. Always be positive and leave the door open for future chats. Here's a what it would sound like. Thank you so much for your time, John. Looking forward to talking again soon. So those are some basic layout to get you started. But remember, these are just your starting points. They're like your plain pizza crust you've got to add the sauce, cheese, and toppings to make it really tasty. Adjust the basics based on who you're talking to and what you're selling. Keep it simple, make it personal, make it yours, and most importantly, make it a conversation. Don't just read off a script. Remember, you're talking to a real person, just like you. So, get creative, get talking, and most importantly, have fun with it. You've got this. Keep on dialing. Cold calling tips. Now, are you ready level up your cold calling game? Here, I'm going to give you some super handy tips that'll turn you into a cold calling legend. It's kind of like when you learn those secret moves in your favorite video game. Number 1. Do your homework. Before you pick up the phone, you gotta know who you're calling. It's like when you're going to a new friend's house you want to know their name. So, learn about the person and the company you're calling. It'll help you tailor your conversation. Number 2. Be positive. Start each call with a smile. Yeah, I know they can't see you, but trust me, they can hear it. It's like when you smile at someone in the playground they usually smile back. Number 3. Practice your pitch. You know how you got better at hitting a baseball the more you practiced. That's the same thing here. The more calls you make, the better you get. So keep on practicing. Number 4. Listen, I mean really listen. Don't do all the talking. It's a conversation, not a monologue. So, let the other person talk, too. It's like playing catch you gotta give them a chance to throw the ball back. Number 5. Personalize. Everyone likes to feel special. So, don't just read off a script. Tailor your conversation to the person you're talking to. It's like when you write a birthday card you make it special for that person. Number 6. Be patient. You won't hit a home run every time. Some calls might not go well, and that's okay. Just keep going. Remember, even super salespeople don't win every battle the first time. Number 7. Know when to wrap up. If the person isn't interested or doesn't have time to talk, it's okay to wrap up the call. It's like when you're playing a game and your friend needs to go home you can always play again later. Number 8. Keep learning. Every call is a chance to learn. Maybe you find a new way to explain your product, or maybe you learn to handle a tough question. It's all good. Keep learning, keep growing. Number 9. Believe in your product. If you believe in what you're selling, it'll come across in your voice. It's like when you're talking about your favorite movie, you get excited, and your emotions shines through. That's the same thing here. Number 10. Be yourself. You know you're awesome, so just be yourself. Don't try to be someone else on the phone. Be genuine, be real, and be friendly. Remember, cold calling is just talking to people. And with these tips, you're gonna rock it. So get out there and start calling. You've got this. Conclusion. All right, my friend, you made it. We're at the end of our cool journey into the land of cold calling. We've learned a ton. Let's wrap it up like a neat little present. Cold calling. You got this. It's just talking to people you haven't met yet, like making new friends at school. Remember, you're calling to help them out with something awesome you have to offer. Remember those scripts we talked about.
They're like your roadmap, guiding you along the conversation. But don't forget to add your own colors to it. Personalize it, adjust it, make it fit the person you're calling. That's the magic source of script variation. And of course, those super handy script basics are there to help you out, too. The you're ready to use conversation starters, but always remember to make them your own. You're not a robot, you're already a salesperson legend. Oh, and don't forget those top tips we covered. Practice makes perfect, be positive, listen more than you talk, and always be yourself. You're not just selling a product or service, you're also representing you. But, most importantly, remember this. Every call is a chance to learn. Maybe you learn something new about your product, maybe you'll get better at explaining it, or maybe you'll get to hear some really cool stories from the people you call. Every call is an adventure. Just like when you're learning how to drive for the first time. It might seem scary at first, but the more you drive, the better you get. And soon, you'll be a NAS car driver. Haha, <laughs> I'm joking. So don't be scared of cold calling. It's just a skill to master. And remember, you're not alone in this. Just like your friends are there to help you learn, there's always help around for you when it comes to cold calling, so seek a mentor if you need one. So, there we have it. I know you're ready to jump into the awesome world of cold calling. Am I right? You're going to be one of the greats, I just know it. Now, go out there and make the calls. Become the legend superstar that you already are. You got this. Good luck. Words that sell. Introducing our collection of powerful conversation openers. In the world of sales and marketing, your opening line can often mean the difference between capturing your audience's attention or losing it. What follows is a compilation of 25 engaging conversation starters, each catered to specific products or services, ranging from productivity tools and virtual assistant services, to home automation devices and online courses. By resonating with your potential customers' needs or frustrations, these openers can help pave the way to a fruitful discussion about your product's value and their potential interest in it. Let's dive in. Opening with a question. Number 1. Hey there. I've got to ask, have you ever found yourself wishing there were more hours in the day? This can resonate with potential customers of productivity tools, time management apps, or virtual assistant services. Number 2. Hi, just curious, are you tired of your workspace always being cluttered? A good opener for products or services that help organize physical or digital workspaces, such as filing systems, digital asset management tools, or office supplies. Number 3. Hello, can I ask you something? Do you ever feel like you're always running out of storage space on your phone or computer? Ideal for selling storage solutions like cloud storage services, external hard drives, or larger capacity devices. Number 4. Hey, I was wondering, does it frustrate you when your internet slows down, just as you're in the middle of something important? Relevant for selling faster, more reliable internet services, or potentially even productivity tools that work offline. Number 5. Hi there. Have you ever dreamed of having a personal assistant to help you manage your busy calendar? Perfect for introducing virtual assistant services, personal planner apps, or time management coaching. Number 6. Hello. Can I ask, do you ever wish you had more free time to spend with your family and friends? This could lead to a conversation about productivity tools, time management strategies, or outsourcing services. Number 7. Hey. I'm just curious, are you getting tired of constantly losing track of your appointments? could introduce a discussion about calendar apps, virtual assistant services, or time management tools. Number 8. Hi, quick question, do you ever wish your car was more fuel efficient? Relevant for selling electric cars, hybrid vehicles, or fuel efficiency boosting accessories. Number 9. Hello, I wanted to ask, have you ever thought about how much easier life would be with a robot vacuum cleaner? Clearly intended for selling robot vacuum cleaners or other home automation devices. Number 10. Hi there. Can I ask, do you ever wish you could learn a new skill or hobby, but you just can't find the time? Ideal for selling online courses, hobby kits that can be done at one's own pace, or time management tools. Number 11. Hey there. 
Do you ever wish you could find a better way to keep your bills and paperwork organized? Great for introducing filing systems, digital document storage solutions, or personal finance apps. Number 12. Hello. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to have an exercise routine you actually enjoy? A great question if you're selling engaging fitness programs, fun exercise equipment, or personal training services. Number 13. Hi. Do you ever find yourself wishing there was an easier way to prepare healthy meals? Could work well for selling meal kit services, cooking appliances, or online cooking classes. Number 14. Hey, quick question, are you tired of dealing with spam and junk mail cluttering your inbox? Relevant for selling email filtering services, cybersecurity software, or email management tools. Number 15. Hello there. Have you ever wished you had a simpler way to track all your expenses and manage your budget? A good opener for personal finance apps, budget coaching services, or financial planning tools. Number 16. Hi, I was wondering, do you ever get tired of forgetting passwords and wish there was a secure way to remember them all? Perfect for selling password manager apps, cybersecurity services, or online safety training. Number 17. Hello. Have you ever thought about how cool it would be to have a home theater system that brings the cinema experience right to your living room? Clearly suitable for selling home theater systems, streaming services, or high-quality television sets. Number 18. Hey, can I ask, do you wish there was a fun and easy way for your kids to learn new subjects? Relevant for education apps, tutoring services, or learning toys. Number 19. Hi, quick question, are you looking for a better way to keep your garden green without spending hours every day? Ideal for selling automatic irrigation systems, garden care services, or easy to maintain plants. Number 20. Hello there, do you ever wish you had a magical machine that could make your favorite coffee just the way you like it every morning? Perfect for selling high quality coffee machines, coffee subscription services, or barista training courses. Number 21. Hello, have you ever found yourself wishing you could communicate with your team more effectively? If you're offering a communication software or team collaboration tool, this question could help the customer visualize their need for your solution. Number 22. Hey there, do you ever wish you had a safer, more secure way to store all your important documents? This could be an opener for selling a cloud storage solution or secure document management system. Number 23. Hi. Do you ever get tired of commuting every day and wish you could work effectively from home? This question would be suitable for selling remote work software, ergonomic home office furniture, or other related products. Number 24. Hello. Have you ever thought about how great it would be to track your fitness goals and progress easily? If you're offering a fitness app or a smart fitness device, this question can make the prospect consider their current fitness tracking methods effectiveness. Number 25. Hey, do you ever wish you could read any book you want, anytime, anywhere? This question would be great for selling an e-book reader or a subscription to a digital library service. Opening with a statement. In this section, you will discover a range of intriguing introduction statements, each uniquely crafted to pique the interest of prospective clients or customers. Each of these statements are tailored to specific products or services, from optimizing computer speeds to language learning apps. Let's dive in and explore these exciting conversation starters that can transform the way you connect with your audience and enhance their engagement with your product or service. Number 1. Hi there. You won't believe this, but we've got a way to make your computer run as fast as it did on day 1. For selling PC optimization software or services, or even new high-speed computers. Number 2. Hello, I've got some amazing news. We've developed a service that makes managing your emails a piece of cake. A great introduction for an email management software or service, perhaps even an AI-powered one. Number 3. Hey, get ready to be excited because our latest product can help cut your utility bills in half. This could introduce energy-efficient appliances, home insulation solutions, or a new type of renewable energy service. Number 4. Hello there. You love this. Our new app can help you plan and cook healthy meals every day without any fuss. Great for promoting a meal planning app, cooking lessons, or even a healthy meal delivery service. 
Number 5. Hi, I've got something that can bring the joy back into your fitness routine. This could be a fitness app, fun exercise equipment, or even a personal training service. Number 6. Hey there, I can't wait to tell you about our new tool that organizes all your bills and paperwork without you lifting a finger. Ideal for a digital document management system or a personal finance app. Number 7. Hello, this will be a game changer for you. Our product can help keep your garden lush with minimum effort. Could be a gardening service, automatic irrigation system, or low maintenance plants. Number 8. Hi there, I'm super excited to tell you about our new method to keep your workspace clutter free. Good for workspace organization tools or services, such as digital asset management tools or physical organizing supplies. Number 9. Hey, get ready for this. We've got an innovative system that makes learning new subjects fun for kids. Could introduce an education lab, online tutoring service, or interactive learning materials. Number 10. Hello there, this is going to brighten your day. We've developed a robot vacuum cleaner that does the job while you relax. Clearly intended for a robot vacuum cleaner or other home automation devices. Number 11. Hey there. Picture this, an app that remembers all your passwords securely. Cool, right? Perfect for a password management app or cybersecurity service. Number 12. Hi, imagine waking up to the perfect cup of coffee every morning, made just the way you like it. That's what our latest product does. Relevant for high-end coffee machines, coffee subscription services, or even a personal barista service. Number 13. Hello. I've got something that's going to rock your world. A home theater system that brings the cinema experience to your living room. Ideal for selling home theater systems, streaming services, or high-quality television sets. Number 14. Hello there. Good news. We have a service that clears out spam and junk mail from your inbox so you don't have to. A good opener for email filtering services or cybersecurity software. Number 15. Hey, you love this. We've found a way to help you find more free time to spend with your family and friends. Could lead to a conversation about productivity tools, time management strategies, or outsourcing services. Number 16. Hi there, this is going to change your day. Our latest product can increase your car's fuel efficiency. Relevant for fuel additives, car maintenance services, or energy efficient vehicles. Number 17. Hello, ready for something amazing. We've got a solution that makes tracking expenses and managing your budget super easy. Could introduce a personal finance app, budget coaching service, or financial planning tools. Number 18. Hey there, check this out. Our new service can help you never miss an appointment again. Ideal for calendar apps, appointment reminder services, or even virtual assistant services. Number 19. Hi, get ready for this. Our innovative tool can help you learn a new skill or hobby in your spare time. Great for online courses, hobby kits that can be done at leisure, or even time management tools. Number 20. Hello there, you're going to love this. We've got a method to keep your internet running smoothly even at peak times. Perfect for high-speed internet services, signal boosters, or internet usage optimization tools. Number 21. Hey, exciting news. We have a way to get you reading more books without finding extra time in your day. Great for promoting audiobook services, speed reading courses, or ebook readers. Number 22. Hi there, you'll be thrilled to know that we have a solution that will keep your home spotless without you doing the cleaning. A good opener for a home cleaning service or advanced cleaning tools. Number 23. Hello, how about never having to worry about finding a parking spot again? That's what our product can do for you. Relevant for a parking app or a car-related service, such as a valet. Number 24. Hey there, picture this. You're staying up to date with all your favorite blogs and news sources without browsing the internet. That's our service. Could be an introduction to a news or blog aggregator app. Number 25. Hi, imagine being able to speak a new language in just a few months. That's what our program offers. Ideal for language learning apps or courses.
snappy transitions, communication is an art, and sometimes the most challenging part can be smoothly transitioning from one point to another. The following transitions aim to assist you in maintaining the flow of your conversations, while effortlessly guiding your listeners through your thoughts. Whether you're introducing new ideas, expanding on a topic, or addressing potential doubts, these transitions, paired with purposeful pauses, will help you master the art of dialogue. Number 1. That's a great point. Speaking of which, purpose, complements the listener and smoothly introduces a related topic. Number 2. Now that you mention it, it reminds me. Purpose, makes the conversation feel collaborative and triggers an association. Number 3. Oh, and don't let me forget to tell you. Purpose, creates anticipation and hints at valuable information. Number 4. That's not all, guess what else. Purpose, implies there's more value or excitement to come. Number 5. But wait, there's more. Purpose. A classic line that suggests the best is yet to come. Number 6. That reminds me of something equally exciting. Purpose. Redirects the conversation while maintaining enthusiasm. Number 7. While we're on the subject. Purpose. Helps to explore the current topic further. Number 8. Now, if you think that's cool, listen to this. Purpose. Promises to amplify what's already been said. Number 9. By the way, did I mention? Purpose. Injects additional information casually. Number 10. And here's the best part. Purpose. Prepares the listener for a high value point. Number 11. Just to switch gears for a moment. Purpose. Eases the transition into a different topic. Number 12. Let's not forget about. Purpose. Highlights something important that could have been overlooked. Number 13. So, what does this all mean for you? Purpose. Puts the focus back on the listener's benefits. Number 14. Now, you're probably wondering. Purpose. Preemptively addresses the listener's potential questions. Number 15. But here's the kicker. Purpose. Sets up a surprising or impactful piece of information. Number 16. Let's circle back to. Purpose. Returns to a previous point for deeper exploration. Number 17. Did you know? Purpose. Presents a fact or insight that may surprise the listener. Number 18. To tie it all together. Purpose. Signals that you're about to summarize or conclude. Number 19. Before we move on, there's one more thing. Purpose. Suggests additional important info before transitioning. Number 20. So, to put it in a nutshell. Purpose. Introduces a concise summary or conclusion. Number 21. You might be asking yourself. Purpose. Anticipates and addresses potential doubts or questions the listener might have. Number 22. There's something else you should know. Purpose. Introduces further important information, arousing curiosity. Number 23. This brings us to another important point. Purpose. Smoothly transitions to a new but related topic, maintaining the listener's interest. Number 24. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Purpose. Implies that there's much more to come, exciting the listener about what's ahead. Number 25. As if that wasn't enough. Purpose. Signifies an addition to something already impressive, increasing the impact on the listener asking for the sale. Now comes the pivotal moment the opportunity to close the deal. Asking for the sale requires finesse, confidence, and a clear value proposition. These carefully crafted statements are designed to nudge your prospect towards making a purchase decision. By highlighting the benefits, encouraging action, and presenting the value of your product or service, you'll be on your way to sealing the deal. Let's explore these effective closing statements that will help you convert leads into satisfied customers. Number 1. So, are you ready to make your life easier with our product? Purpose. Presenting the product as a solution to make life easier. Number two. Shall we get you started on experiencing our service? Purpose. Promoting immediate action and initiation. Number three. How about we move forward and get you set up with this? Purpose. Proposing a forward movement and set up, promoting action. Number four. What do you say we go ahead and get this up and running for you? Purpose. Assuming the sale and suggesting readiness to begin. Number 5. So, can I put you down for an order today? Purpose. A direct approach to secure the order. Number 6. Are you ready to give our product a shot and see the difference it can make? Purpose. Encouraging the prospect to take a chance and see results. Number 7. What if we got you started with a trial right away? Purpose. Offering an immediate, low-risk way to try the product slash service. Number 8. Do you want to see the benefits of our service firsthand? Purpose. Promoting the experience of direct benefits. Number 9. Shall we get the ball rolling for you on this? Purpose. Suggesting action and momentum. 
Number 10. Are you ready to start enjoying the advantages of our product? Purpose. Encouraging the prospect to experience the product's advantages. Number 11. Would you like to proceed and feel the difference this will make? Purpose. Inviting the prospect to proceed and see a positive difference. Number 12. So, should we get this exciting journey started for you? Purpose. Painting the purchase as the beginning of an exciting journey. Number 13. How about we take the next step together and get you on board? Purpose. Creating a sense of partnership in the sales process. Number 14. Can we go ahead and get you set up to enjoy the benefits of our service? Purpose. Offering to assist the prospect in experiencing the benefits. Number 15. What do you think about giving our product a try and seeing the amazing results for yourself? Purpose. Encouraging the prospect to try the product and witness its effectiveness. Number 16. Shall we move forward and add this incredible tool to your life? Purpose. Proposing advancement and addition of a valuable tool to the prospect's life. Number 17. Are you ready to start the process and experience the impact our product can make? Purpose. Motivating the prospect to initiate the process and experience impact. Number 18. How about we secure this deal and get you on your way to a more convenient lifestyle? Purpose. Suggesting securing the deal for a more comfortable lifestyle. Number 19. So, are we ready to make this exciting change and get you set up with our product? Purpose. Asking for readiness to make an exciting change with the product. Number 20. Can we go ahead and finalize this so you can start enjoying the benefits of our service? Purpose. Proposing to finalize the deal so the prospect can start enjoying benefits. Number 21. Let's make your life easier today with our product. Are you ready to take the first step? Purpose. Offering a solution to simplify the prospect's life. Number 22. How about we make your business more efficient with our service? Ready to unlock its full potential. Purpose. Promoting increased efficiency and unlocking potential. Number 23. Imagine the possibilities with our product. Can we make those possibilities a reality for you? Purpose. Creating excitement and offering to bring possibilities to life. Number 24. Are you ready to join the ranks of satisfied customers? Let's get you on board with our product. Purpose. Building trust and inviting the prospect to join other satisfied customers. Number 25. It's time to elevate your business slash personal life. Are you ready to take it to the next level with our product slash service? Purpose. Highlighting the opportunity for growth and inviting the prospect to level up. Smooth closing. In this section, we present you with 25 smooth closing statements that will leave a positive impression on your prospects and encourage them to take the next step. These statements express gratitude, enthusiasm, and confidence in the benefits your product or service can bring to their lives. Each closing statement is designed to create a sense of anticipation and foster a strong connection with your prospects. Let's explore these powerful closing statements and discover how they can help you seal the deal with a touch of finesse. Number 1. I'm so glad we had this chat today. I can't wait to see how our product will make your life easier. Expresses enthusiasm for the prospect's future benefits from the product. Number 2. Thanks for your time. I'm confident that you're going to love what we have to offer. Shows gratitude and expresses confidence in the product's appeal to the prospect. Number 3. I appreciate your time today. Let's connect again soon so we can continue this great conversation. Thanks the prospect and anticipates future discussions. Number 4. It was a pleasure speaking with you. I'm excited to see the amazing things we can accomplish together. Displays courtesy and fosters a sense of teamwork. Number 5. Thank you for the lovely conversation. We're going to make your life so much simpler with our solution. Appreciates the prospect's time and emphasizes the product's benefit. Number 6. It was great talking with you. I'll follow up with more details so you can see how we can make things better for you. Expresses positive sentiments and promises a follow-up. Number 7. Thanks for your time today. Let's catch up again soon and delve into more ways we can make your everyday life easier. Shows gratitude and suggests future discussions on how the product can benefit the prospect. Number 8. I enjoyed our chat. I'm looking forward to seeing how our service can save you time and hassle. Reflects on a positive conversation and anticipates how the service will benefit the prospect. Number 9. It was a pleasure speaking with you. I'm excited to bring some extra ease and comfort into your life with our product. Exhibits enthusiasm for the upcoming benefits the prospect will gain from the product.
Number 10. Thank you for this great conversation. I can't wait for you to experience the benefits of our service. Expresses gratitude and excitement for the prospect's upcoming experience with the service. Number 11. I appreciate your time and interest. I'm sure you are going to enjoy the convenience our product offers. Acknowledges the prospect's time and interest and assures them of the product's convenience. Number 12. It's been a pleasure talking to you. You're going to love how much simpler and smoother things will be with our solution. Reflects a positive conversation and anticipates the improvement the product will bring. Number 13. Thanks for the lovely chat. I'm excited about the difference our product will make in your life. Shows appreciation for the conversation and enthusiasm about the product's impact. Number 14. I enjoyed our conversation. I look forward to showing you how our service can enhance your daily routine. Expresses enjoyment of the conversation and anticipates demonstrating the service's benefits. Number 15. It was great speaking with you today. I can't wait to show you the difference our product can make. Reflects on a great conversation and looks forward to demonstrating the product's benefits. Number 16. Thanks for taking the time to chat. I'm thrilled about the positive changes our solution will bring to your life. Appreciates the prospect's time and expresses excitement about the product's benefits. Number 17. It was wonderful speaking with you. I'm eager to see how our service will improve your day-to-day -day tasks. Reflects a pleasant conversation and anticipates how the service will benefit the prospect. Number 18. I'm glad we had this conversation. I'm excited for you to experience all the benefits our product has to offer. Expresses satisfaction with the conversation and enthusiasm for the prospect's upcoming product experience. Number 19. Thank you for your time. I look forward to seeing the amazing impact our service will have on your daily routine. Shows gratitude and anticipation for the service's impact on the prospect's routine. Number 20. It's been a pleasure talking with you. I'm excited for you to enjoy the simplicity and efficiency our product brings. Reflects on a pleasurable conversation and looks forward to the prospect enjoying the product's benefits. Number 21. Thank you for your time today. I can't wait to hear about the positive changes our product will bring to your life. Expresses gratitude for the prospect's time and anticipation for the product's impact. Number 22. It was a pleasure connecting with you. I'm confident that our service will exceed your expectations. Displays satisfaction with the conversation and expresses confidence in the service's quality. Number 23. Thanks for the fantastic conversation. I'm excited to embark on this journey of improvement with you. Expresses gratitude for the conversation and enthusiasm for the joint progress. Number 24. I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you. Let's take the next steps together and make a positive difference in your life. Acknowledges the prospect's time and proposes collaboration for positive change. Number 25. Thank you for your interest. I can't wait to show you how our product will simplify your tasks and boost productivity. Expresses appreciation for the prospect's interest and emphasizes the product's benefits. I hope you found immense value in these audios and it has been an absolute pleasure sharing this knowledge with you. I believe that effective communication is the cornerstone of success in all areas of life, and by incorporating these insights into your conversations, you are empowering yourself to create meaningful connections and achieve remarkable results. Always remember, communication is a skill that can be honed and mastered with practice, so don't be afraid to embrace these strategies and techniques. Make them a part of your daily interactions, and watch as your relationships flourish and your influence grows. I have full confidence that you have the ability to make a profound impact through your words and actions. So go out there, share your thoughts, listen with empathy, and inspire those around you. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and may your communication be a catalyst for positive change in your life and the lives of others. Good luck.